Hi everyone. Um, welcome to this month's masterclass, which is achieving your goals and dreams. I'm just going to share you my PowerPoint so we can get started. There we go. So achieving your goals and dreams can come in different uh, formats. It can just be simply your um, New Year's resolutions, or it can be a bigger goal or dream that you're wanting. But the fundamental thing is being able to stick at it and not give up. So we're going to break down the things this um, today in this class and work through what it is um, that to keep us going to achieve it at the end. Because even if it is just a New Year's resolution, you want to keep going for a month or two. If you can make it part of your life, it then becomes much easier and it becomes a habit. So to start off with, I just want you to think about this. This is the three C's of life. So you've got choices, chances and change. You must make a choice to take a chance or life will never change. So by the end of this masterclass, you're gonna just have a few simple steps to be able to achieve your goals and dreams. And why is it important to take these steps? So we don't repeat old negative patterns. We we will stop feeling frustrated with ourselves and think negative thoughts about ourselves, as in, I can never do this, I never finish anything, nothing's any good, life's not good. If we want to change all that, this is why it's important. So if we want to change life and the outcome, we've all had a rough year last year. If we want to make this year better, this is why you need to take these steps. So breaking it down, what we're going to go through today, the steps to achieving your goals is knowing your vision, knowing the consequences of not achieving your vision, knowing the reason for your vision, understanding the things that are stopping you get your vision and know your plan. So knowing your plan, ask yourself and write down what it is that your goal, your dream or your New Year's resolution is. When you've got that, sometimes that's the easy part because this is why we're wanting to do this. But sometimes we have to really think about what is it we really want and then ask why. Why is it that I want it? What can I see myself doing and having when I've achieved it? How am I going to feel after I've achieved it? And also a really good question to think about. Is my vision and goal realistic? Because so often we set ourselves something that's not realistic. So then we don't achieve it. And then we go back into those cycles of saying, I'm no good, life's not fair, and we just spiral back down again. So if we can change that and make sure it's more of a realistic goal and dream, then we've got more chance of actually getting it. So the second one is knowing the consequences of not achieving your vision. So this time I want you to ask yourself and write down what happens if I don't make these changes? Is there an impact? Is this about diet? Am I going to be ill if I carry on doing this? Am I going to feel bad still? Am I going to feel unwell? How does it make me feel if I don't achieve these? And if it's something else more about um, work and things like that, what will happen if I don't make those changes with work? Will I feel fed up and run down and not wanting to go to work? Also really sit and think about who else it affects if you don't do it. 
and what impact it has on them. And then it's know the reason for your vision. So when you've gone through the others, we're gonna really then break down what it is and why you're doing it. So what will happen if I do make these changes? How will your life be? How will you feel about yourself? And what will your life look like in a year's time if you make these changes? In all these sections, by really thinking about it, we can really put a visual thing in our head and it becomes easier to stick to it. This one can be a little bit harder for some people. It's understanding the things that stop you getting your vision. So I really want you to take a look back here because we all hit a point. So do you usually hit a point and give up? And what are the reasons for giving up? What excuses do you give yourself or what do you create in your life to do? Is it just life gets in the way, the family, the children or work's too busy? Or do you set unrealistic goals? Or is it your mind that stops you with the negative thoughts? And then the next thing we need to do is ask ourselves what ways we cope with emotional challenges or being stressed. Because when we're trying to change something, we're adding something new to our life and our schedules. Um, this puts on a bit of more stress. When we're changing something where we're used to one habit, that we can become quite stressful. If it is, we're going back to, we're trying to change our diet or stopping to drink. Do we use the drink or the food as an emotional, when emotional challenges are there or we're stressed? Do we go to the cupboard and stand there looking in there thinking, what can I eat just because you're struggling with something? And then work out, are they positive or negative things? If there are positive things that you deal with in those situations, then make sure you keep those tools next to you and use them as you work through. If they're negative, you need to then look at them and think, what can I do to change that so I don't hit those hurdles? And make yourself aware of them so when you do it, you're very aware of what you're doing instead of it being an automatic. There's so many times you could have probably gone to the fridge and stood there and you're standing there looking in there and didn't even realise you've turned there to look for food. Or you were at the cupboard where the crisps and the chocolates are. And then we're on the last one of knowing your plan. We need a vision summary here just to go through. So you've got your vision. What do I really want? And also put, think about what type of person do you want to be? How will this be useful for me? And then we go on to the goals. What are the things that I need to order for me to achieve this. And then we've got the strategies. What are all the parts of my goals? What is the best order to tackle them? What resources do I need? Do I need help from someone else? Do I need encouragement from them? Do I need them to look after the children when I'm trying um, to go out and exercise or focus on something at work? Do I need extra help with that? 
do I need work to help me to achieve something? Do you need to ask them that if is it okay for me to stop at lunchtime to do something? Whatever it is, who do I need around me to help achieve this? Do I need somebody to be reminding me and setting me and behind you, coaching you and working through that? That can be anybody you trust. And what has worked well and not well in the past? And then it's actions. What small steps can I take each day to get a closer to my goal and vision? And what am I going to do and when? So the best way to focus, set goals and take action is ask yourself, what do I need to achieve? Set out a plan for the month of what you want to do and then break that down into a week and then break it down to the days you need to be doing something. It doesn't mean you have to do something every day. If for certain things you don't need to, others you do. And then work out where it's going to go in your day. So look at your day, your schedule and put it in. If you don't do it, don't beat yourself up. You can juggle and move things. And if you didn't quite get there that day, just make sure you get onto it the next day. And celebrate your successes. Emotional can help strengthen the pathway, the habit forming part of the brain. So we need to celebrate every little victory that we have. We need to have a little dance. You need to dance around in the living room when you've done it. You need to tick your box if that's how it is. Cross it off your list. Either tell someone, tell someone that you know is going to be excited for you that you've done it. It doesn't matter how small this is. Give yourself a gold star. We do it with the kids. You know, we gave them charts and things to motivate. Do that for you, whatever it is that motivates you. Also, throw yourself a little internal party. So when you've completed any goal or action, I just want you to close your eyes and feel the feeling you feel when you've achieved it. Feel how good it feels. And sit with it. Hold it. Remember how good that is inside you. And then you just need to smile from the inside out. Because when we keep these memories in our subconscious, it helps when we're working on the conscious things. Because it's so easy to slip into the negative of what we've done before. And they are subconscious memories from the past. If we create new subconscious memories, we then create the habit forming part of the brain. We start to remind ourselves how good it felt. So we want to do that again. So we will go towards doing and achieving another goal and feeling good. So the summary of today's masterclass was know your vision, Know the consequences of not achieving your vision. Know the reason for your vision. Understand the things that stop you getting your vision. And know your plan. And set your goals. Each day is a new beginning. And just recapping again on the importance of taking these steps. So we don't repeat our old negative patterns. We will stop ourselves feeling frustrated and we will stop thinking negative thoughts about ourselves. And it helps change our life. So just gonna have a quick quiz just to go over to say how much you were actually listening to me. So, 
I just want you to name two things that usually stop you achieving your New Year's resolution goal or dreams. There is no right or wrong answer with this one. This is just what's personally stops you to achieve. Just stop and think about it for a sec. So is it work, life, family, unrealistic goals? Is it your mind with negative thoughts? The feeling of being overwhelmed? Is it fear or is it others putting you down? What are the four steps you to know your plan? So you've got vision, goals, strategy, and then action. What do you need to know when you achieve your goals, small or big? So not what do you need to do, sorry, when you achieve your goals, small or big? You need to celebrate your success. I want some videos of you all dancing around or I don't know, giving yourself a gold star, treating yourself to something nice. You can send them to me, send me pictures. When setting your goals and taking actions, what do you need to do? You need to set out a plan for the month, then break it down into weeks and then into each day. So if you want to take this to the next step, at the moment I'm running Achieve Your Goals and Dreams five day workshop. This workshop is goes into a bit more detail than what we've talked about today. Um, it breaks each section down for you. Plus you get a bonus section each day to help you stay more focused on your goals and dreams. You're gonna receive a plan set out each day with videos to help you along the way. You can do this in your own time. The workshop is usually 45 pound. But because you get your membership discount, you get your 10% off. So you will get it for £40.50. And here is your discount code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a, a post in the next couple of days, which will link you to the site so you can buy this. And then it automatically gets sent to you daily. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the masterclass this month and I will see you later on. Take care. Bye.